Okay, right, back for the third time. Right, okay, the only thing left to do now is, is really uh, titivating the uh, the trees and just honing down on, on getting these looking like trees, okay? And I know we've done quite a few detail, but you're just, you're just tidying stuff up. But what I am going to do is I'm just going to fix this so that everything doesn't move. Whoa. Okay, I'm just going to make sure that what I want blended in is blended in how I want it. I can put it on top and redo it, but not really what I want. Right, okay, just going to squirt that then. So that's just fixing that. Watch it go darker. And then to wait for a little while so again at this point what I would do is I would walk away um, and I would be doing something else and then I'd come back and have another look at it where am I what don't I like what do I like what works what doesn't um, actually we, you know we're not far off with this but there's that banking on the left to look at um, that needs some some detail not a lot. I don't want to do detail much there because that is my focus point. Okay. Now, because we've squirted that and it's gone a little bit darker, we're going to have to just reinforce, um, reinforce that. So, do you like where the sky holes are? Should there be any more? Um, what are we going to do with this side of the picture? Well, I've already decided I'm going to I'm going to trim that, and I may be trimming that to about there. I may go up a little bit just to give it that squareness back. Um, but what happens with that is I just take it back to... Oh, let me just reach for that. Okay, so what I'll do is I will just take that back to there. Take that back to there. Just knock the camera. Take that back to there. And that is is a good way of deciding where you want to finish your painting. So I'm going to be looking at doing that sort of shape. Okay, so I've just took a little bit off that side and a little bit off the bottom. And then I'm quite happy with that. Okay, right. So, right, so that should have dried by now. Um, all The only thing left to do really is... Like I say, we're looking at detail. So let's just look at that far banking. It's green. It's not massively, it's a lot in shadow. But what we could do, use the side of your pastel and just do some down strokes. Like it's for, you've got to do directional lines now. So we're looking at coming down this. Coming down this banking. And then when we've done this light colour, we're going to put some shadow in there. And there's some light bits at the back. Okay, and then I'm going to put some shadow in there, which is a darker green. Just darken some of those areas. So I'm not too interested in about whether it's got detail or not because that's not the main focus of the picture. The main focus of the picture is that tunnel at the end. Okay, just some directional strokes at the bottom to show that there was a, a ledge or a shelf. And then... Some nice shadows, nice sunshine reflections coming through. Bottom of that tree is a little bit light, so I'm just going to put some dark in there. That's it, just use the tree colour just to get these shadows back in there. There's a little bit there. One of the darkest colours I ever use is is the uh, actually it's all one colour uh, is this real real dark purple. 
it's an amazing colour for getting some depth into the picture. This is where I start what I call titivating. I'm not too worried, like I said, about detail on there. I just want to make sure it just makes sense to the viewer. I'm just suggesting the banking. Shadows on trees are good. Remember the sun's coming from there, so the shadows will be at the back and at the side here where no light can get to. Can't really see that one. Let's just put that one back in. We've lost it. Right, okay, that's better. Right, this one falls down there. Shadow at the back. And if you've lost any of the darkness, because those trees are pretty dark, let's pull it back. That's fine. Uh, just a tad there. And I don't like that light. Just going to go over the top of that. Again, it's a good exercise to see how you put something right when you've done it wrong and because I froze it I can actually go over it okay we've got like a purple there but that's fine it would be I'm putting purple on so that's better right so these trees a little bit um, a little bit weak so just start to embolden them a little bit more bringing them back just making sure I don't touch the paper and put my hand in something else that I shouldn't be doing like white and just reinforcing those trees that's all and bearing in mind I'm going to cut the paper I'm not going to go any further so just hit and miss with these there okay I'm over that now I think right now what I am going to do, like we've done with this, in fact, because we've put the uh, we put the fixative on, just lost it a little bit. I really want to make that glow. And through here. And I'm just going to put some more glowing on there, underneath there a little bit. Switch colour to the lime green. And just lighten up that area that we did. So I say it's just building up colour. Keep looking at the picture, don't lose the picture. And then just practice the techniques that you are learning to get it to look like what you want it to look like. Right, and for over here, we've got quite a bit of green through there, to be fair. The sun shines on it, but it's a, it's a lovely green, yellowy green. So that with the, uh, with the orange that I've put on. There's also... Some of the cream 
mixed in with the green because it's it's almost illuminous. Um, that's that's the luminous I wanted to come through. I say it's just playing with what you've got until it pops. So now you've got. The real light, because this is where the sun's coming from, remember? So it will be okay. Quite happy with that now. That's coming beautifully. A nice V there. And I'm just going to go over that with the green because it's not white. It has got a hint of green in it. Mix that on the paper. Or you do it the other way around. Put the green on first. cream on and mix it in. 